All right, let's talk about this movie real quick. When I was a kid, nothing mattered to me more than superheroes, okay? I got the Iron Man toy. I got the Hulk gloves. I don't know. It was something about having the ability to fly, shoot lasers, do whatever the heck this is. It really captured my imagination and made me feel much more powerful than I really was. So when Megamind came out in 2010, 14 years ago, holy shit, my brain went like, ooh. This movie was crazy, dude. We got Markiplier in tights. We got our first animated insect. This movie was incredible. And now, as an adult, I gotta be honest, this movie is still incredible. The script was incredibly tight and witty. The voice performances were just so perfect. Megamind's just such an incredibly well-written character. From the pressure that was built upon him by his family to be so important, and the forced perception of himself that society placed upon him, and to see him finally overcome those perceptions that society placed upon him, and showing society that anybody can be capable of good? Ooh, it's so good. Good. I showed this movie to someone who was robbing my house afterwards, and he kindly returned me my TV. True story. Oh, floof. We know this movie is good. We already saw the Chef Frillas video on it four years ago. Can you get to the god awful trailer for Megabyte 2 now? Jeez. Okay, okay, all right. Chill, man. Okay, so I was scrolling through Instagram, and I saw what I looked to be a trailer for a brand new Megamind movie. And let me just say, the animation could never look any better. Okay, they really captured the lighting perfectly. I see this could have only been done with the Unreal Engine 5. Such great graphics. Wait a minute. Oh, no. <laughs> Why does he look like that? Why does she look like that? Why do these new villains look like Illumination characters? <clears throat> it's, uh, whew, excuse me. You know, this movie looks like those other DreamWorks shows that go straight to streaming, like uh, Kung Fu Panda and How to Train Your Dragon, Wh which, to be fair, is exactly what it is. This is a made-for-TV movie that is airing exclusively on Peacock. It wasn't made to be a theatrical release, which is understandable. It has a smaller budget. And plus, it's only meant to be a pilot for an upcoming Megamind TV show on the same platform, okay? I, I get it. I understand why it looks this way. But why? Why would they do this? It's not like a sequel couldn't work. This really good Megamind short film that came out a few years ago called The Button of Doom, and it was extremely clever. Great gags, decent animation all around. A TV show doesn't have to look as good as this, but it could at least look a little better than freaking Miraculous, you know? Let's talk about the premise. Okay, so Megamind, he's a hero now, okay? Where's the cape? Y you know, the thing that kind of symbolized the passing of the torch from hero to hero, you know, and his lifetime commitment to good? Yeah! W where'd it go, DreamWorks? Must have sold it on freaking <laughs> Mercari or something. Nah, man, but something this trailer really messed up, man, it was Megamind himself. He seems a lot more dumbed down in this trailer, which I get it. You're making something strictly for kids. A little bit of flanderization is necessary in order to keep it accessible for younger and stupider brains. But then why choose Megamind as your stupid kid show in the first place? <laughs> the first Megamind is incredibly smart, like actually ahead of its time for that matter. It was a captivating subversion of not only superheroes, but the entire superhero genre as a whole. You can't take a genre subverting film and do one of the most generic plot lines of bad guy used to be in a bad group, but now he's good, but doesn't want to be in the ah, bad group anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Ow! This film is killing me. This trailer is actually killing me. Why is there even a bad group in the first place? I thought the whole point of the movie was that Megamind and Metro Man were the only aliens who landed on Earth from different planets. And they were the only ones fighting each other. I know as self-reliant as Megamind is in the first film, he only allowed his minions and his robots to work for him. So this whole plot line of he used to be in an evil chess club does not Pass the vibe check for these producers, man. Minion was fine. He looked okay. This little girl looked so hammed in. I don't know who she is. Probably gonna be revealed to be Metro Man's unmentioned daughter or something. Or, or worse. Oh. Oh, no. The jokes were okay. I mean, only one made me laugh, which was uh, the one where the tank was going after those people, and he was like, It does not look good for them. Oh, right, I'm a hero now. But everything else in it, it's just generic kid show humor. 
Um, what else? Oh, oh yeah. The funny tennis balls. Those tennis balls, they don't have an ejection animation from the gun. They just, they just appear. <laughs> That's so funny. I'm just kind of mad by how generic it all looks. For a movie as unique as Megamind, to see it be used in this way is probably what's making everyone on the internet so angry at it to begin with. I don't know. You know what? Tell me your opinions on this upcoming film in the comments below. I, I, I'm genuinely curious to hear your thoughts. This movie has sparked a lot of discourse over the internet and for good reason. It's good to see these people coming together, really defending one of their favorite movies. Anyway, I, I'm gonna put on my custom, custom baby, baby seal leather, leather boots. boots and take a walk outside because it looks very nice. Okay, bye. Cause you take it on the big brain. Take it on the big brain.